Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And today it's a little cool in Nashville, but I wanna to talk to you today about a little project I did uh, helping out the band We Three with their recent live show. So We Three uh, first reached out to me looking for some assistance uh, in order to make these videos. And what they wanted to do is they had a show coming up I can't remember if at the time it was it was actually a pre-pandemic that they reached out to me. They had a tour coming up. They wanted to automate their lighting. Well, you know, as things went, this changed and it turned into, okay, we're doing this live stream show. Uh, we three got some sponsorship from Chauvet and Chauvet uh, let them borrow some lights. And they said, hey, we want to automate this in light key. Can you help us? So I did. So we got on some calls and we uh, discussed the different artistic, both like how to lay out their lighting rig, which we'll show you in a minute, and also talked a lot about how to synchronize lighting to a live show in Ableton. Now, if you're a band or a church or someone like that, and maybe you use Ableton Live, you might be looking for a way to sync your live show with lighting. And up until this point in time, there's always been really two solid choices for that. The first, Entex DMXs, and the second, Light Key. Uh, they both have their pros and cons, but I would say if you're starting out today for a lot of people, Light Key is a really good option, um, though it is a subscription as opposed to a one-time purchase, so you got to weigh out what's best for you. Uh, for We 3 Light Key, the Mac app, was a great choice. We've got it here on the screen. And so... What I wanted to do in this video was walk through a little bit of how they set things up in Lightkey so that you can see how things do set up in Lightkey, how to make use of it. Um, also, if you are interested in more on Lightkey, I've got more videos here. I've got tutorials on it and a review. Uh, we'll link to some of that below. We'll link to something in the cards here. And if you are interested in Lightkey, there is a free demo version. Go through my special link below, which will help me out a little bit if you do choose to buy it. So. Here inside of the Mac here, we've got Ableton Live with their session up, and we've got Lightkey. Now, when you watch clips of their show, and we'll, we'll have some here in a minute, you're going to see that this isn't your typical Lightkey show. A lot of times, people in Lightkey with Ableton, and this isn't bad, um, they go ahead and they build out their Live tab with just a few basic looks on it, and then... Um, they just fire one lighting button or one scene at a time in light key. And that works well, and that's great. But we three wanted to get a little more out of it. So as we jumped on some Zoom calls and, and sorted things out between each other, we ended up uh, coming across this. So what we've got here is in Ableton, you can see here, they actually have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... They actually have 10 tracks, or 10, not tracks of MIDI, but 10 um, different tr tracks in, or they are Ableton tracks of MIDI in light key. And so let's let's break this down how this works, um, because this can be a little bit confusing if you're new to it. The first is that they have four groups of lights, their main pars, their secondary pars, their um, freedom sticks, which are like a pixel tall stick thing, their quads, and their cyclics. lights. Okay. So these one, two, three, four, five um, correspond to different scenes that they built in on their different live pages. Okay. Now each live page has a section for each type of light on them. And as you see here, there are different scenes that they're triggering here in Ableton through each part of the song, but it doesn't stop there because as we were working together, um, they hit me up with a question and they said, Hey, David, is there a way to be able to actually control the fades and stuff, um, on a case by case basis, control the level of the light and, and actually do it from Ableton. And I said, you know, guys, I think there is a way let's, let's figure it out because ultimately, as I, as I always tell people, when we're working together, I work with a lot of, uh, learn stage lighting labs members in DAWs, um, to sync their lighting to music and you can get more info on the labs below. Um, you know, as I tell people, you, you kind of work when you're triggering lighting to music in the program that's most comfortable to you. For somebody like me who has a background in lighting, usually I put the, the brunt of the programming and the heaviest programming in the lighting program. But for somebody who's in a band like Joshua from We Three and the entire band, 
they're used to working in Ableton Live. It's their tool of choice. It's what they're in every day. And so there are some controls that we could have done. We could have controlled the fades and gotten probably the same result by controlling it in like key using some cue lists, etc. But they're used to Ableton. So we brought it over to Ableton. And so here we've got fader one, two, three, and four, and a master that are on different MIDI channels in Lightkey. It's just connected directly inside the same computer from Ableton to Lightkey. And what these allow them to do is that on each page, so they made a page on the live screen for each song, okay? Uh, at the start of the song, they trigger a MIDI command to switch to that page. Then the different faders actually have, you can see here on some of the faders, we'll find one here. They actually have MIDI mapped to them, okay? And so that then in Ableton, of course, I'm not finding one at the moment, they could map that MIDI to them on one of these MIDI tracks, and then they're able to go ahead, and I'm just going to mute my audio so nothing comes through, and they're able to control the fade through an envelope in MIDI if desired, or just fire it at full. They have either ability. And so what's cool about this, and this might look complicated to you, but this is a really cool way to look at things, is if you're a band and you're looking to trigger your live show with lighting, you're Mac people, you use Ableton, um, then this is really a great way to do it through LightKey because you can bring in either one scene at a time, two scenes at a time, or multiple, um, get some fader controls as well if you desire them. And then ultimately the end result looks like this. So let's, let's take a look at, at one of these songs where you've got different lighting scenes happening in light key right now to the music in different times with each other. You've got faders moving up and down. You've got buttons coming on and off. And it looks like you've, got a professional running the lights and you do you pre-programmed it to look professional and to look amazing and at the end of the day that's what we want to be able to do that's what i want to be able to um, enable you to do here at learn stage lighting and to be able to have a show as dynamic as this but it's always on time because you trigger it out of your backing tracks if you use them like we three uses some tracks with their music and so I hope this quick look uh, gives you a, a quicker, a really cool idea of how this looks. And so now what we'll do real quick here at the end is I just want to show you a segment from one of their songs. And I want to show you the live clip. I want to show you what's happening in Ableton. I want to show you what's happening in a light key. So it might be a little small on the screen, but let's take a look and, and you can really see how this came together to make a dynamic and interesting show. Wow, wasn't that cool? That was great. And now they have this built. Sure, they use this for one particular show. But now that this is built, they can use this for every gig they do in the future, especially as gigs come back here in 2021. So if you liked what you saw here, you'll definitely want to check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs. Now, everything that these guys learned, you can learn in Learn Stage Lighting Labs through our action plans called Automatic and Live, as well as our Light Key Complete Guide, which if you haven't used Light Key before, is going to start at step A, take you to step Z, and teach you everything you need to know and, and not confuse you with details you don't need to know. So, so you'll definitely want to check that out. Uh, you can join us monthly, quarterly, or yearly. 
check it out below, check it out here on the end screen. And if you are brand new to lighting, if we three sent you here and you're like, you know, I'm not sure I'm ready for that, but I just want to know more about lighting, then grab my free guide. It's going to help you get started with lighting. It's over at learnstagelighting.com. You can click here on the end screen and get that as well as check the video right here, which is my review of Lightkey. Uh, it's going to walk you through Lightkey, what it can do, what it can't do, and ultimately help you make the best decision if you're looking to control lights. Awesome. We will see you guys on our next video. Be sure you're subscribed if you came over here and you're interested in lighting and uh, check out the rest that we have to offer here at Learn Stage Lighting. Have a great day.